Hey guys, Matt here, and today I want to make a very quick video to tell you guys basically how to fix a few different issues uh, with the Chaos Recipe tool and the uh, automatic updating filter and all that. So basically this video is going to teach you guys how to fix the fail to execute error. It's going to teach you guys how to fix the Pernac error in all the filters that were uh, on Filter Blade. Basically what happened is GGG had a typo in a certain item name. They fixed it and it basically broke every single filter ever for a while. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about is the whole claim that the, the, the tool is a virus, which is a valid claim, but I want to go ahead and uh, talk about that real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the whole virus situation. So if you try to download the tool or if you've had the tool, potentially it's going to be in quarantine because uh, Windows sees it as a Trojan, Windows 32 whack, uh, whack attack bml so there is no summary as you can see literally all that windows does and the reason why windows quarantines the tool and sees it as a trojan or a virus is because there is no digital signature on the tool this is a very common thing when a piece of code doesn't have a digital signature it's like a work of art with no author uh people and in this case programs or windows will see it as uh, sketchy, which is completely normal, and for security reasons, it will try to lock it because it doesn't know what it does and it doesn't know who it's from. And if it doesn't know who it's from, uh, basically, uh, it's it tries to be as careful as possible, so it locks it. Thing is, this was a privately coded tool, it's initially just for me and my friend, me and a friend. That's it. So we didn't need a, dig a digital signature. We didn't need anything like that. We were just making something to help us with Chaos Recipe. That simple. It was never meant to be released at first. When the tool was left for dead and I picked up the project with another friend, we decided to make it public uh, because the newer coder was actually fine with making it public while the initial coder was not. Thing is, it still doesn't have a digital signature, so Windows will see it as a virus. That is the summary explanation as quick as possible, as simple as possible. There is nothing wrong with it. It is not a Trojan or a virus. The only reason why it's, it says that is because Windows doesn't have a digital signature for the tool, uh, for the code, and obviously um, uh, because it, it doesn't really know what it does. So, it's perfectly safe. That being said, if you don't want to use it, Feel free not to use it whenever we release the source code, which I'm working on still. Uh, then you'll be able to see that it, it was perfectly fine all along. But either way, that's that. So that's first thing I want to talk about was the whole claim that it was a virus. Next, I want to teach you guys how to how to uh, fix the fail to execute and all that. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop. And we are going to grab my chaos tool and I'm actually going to delete it and go with a fresh install. I'm also going to go to my folder, uh, my my games path of exile, and I'm going to look for the the uh, the uh, filter called poeql underscore base. And I'm also going to delete this. Uh, if you're having issues with the tool, go ahead and follow these simple uh, instructions. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head over to filter blade and I'm going to load up my profile here path of math uh, which is public as well so we're going to go ahead and go to uh, my profile and this is the latest filter that i made it's called better filter it's a little bit more strict than the other ones uh, i removed some bases for higher tier uh, content blah 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 nothing to worry about so better filter i'm going to load this up and once I've loaded this up, I'm going to go to download, a download file, and I'm going to call it poeql underscore base. Now, this is actually a very important part. I need this to be called poe underscore ql dot base. So if you're going to use your own filter, which you totally can, uh, you are going to need to call it that. So what I'll do here is I'll go to my download, and this is the filter that I just downloaded. As you can see, a fresh install or a fresh download. Next, we are going to go ahead and grab the tool. So when I download the tool, uh, for me, I've already whitelisted it, so it doesn't really matter. But if you uh, have not whitelisted the tool, it very well may say virus detected cannot be downloaded. What you're going to do to fix this is you go under your options here, and there's this little shield. Uh, it's basically also Windows security, so you could just type in Windows security as well. Um, that will open up the same thing and you're going to go to virus and threat protection we're going to go to protection history and 
here you will see uh under protection history you will be able to uh or sorry under allowed threats my bad you will go to protection history yeah and you'll be able to see the uh the tool here it will say uh it will say severe i believe if i go to severe it should say threat severe trojan whatever something like that so let's go ahead and go to, it should say like thread blocked or something like that. You're just going to click on that and it's going to ask you, are you sure? Blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to give you the information and that's where it say Trojan detected, blah, blah, blah. You are going to allow this. Now I've already, I've already done it. So I don't have the button here, but at the bottom it should say allow. So you can allow it. Now, once you've allowed it, you're just going to re-download it. And once you've re-downloaded it again, uh, and this is the release, by the way. So uh, initially, it's going to look, oops. Initially, it'll look something like this. You're going to press the release here on the right side and the first link at the top. Uh, so once you've allowed it, it's going to give you this in a zipped folder. So I'm going to take this, all this, these, uh, these different things uh, here. I'm going to press OK. So I'm going to take all of them and I am going to copy them. Next, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'll call it whatever, doesn't matter. I'll just call it chaos tool. I'm going to open up this folder and I will paste everything in there. This is all the necessary thing for the chaos recipe tool to work. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this filter here, which has the bugged Pernak uh, typo, and we are going to delete it. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our downloads and we're going to grab the new filter that I just downloaded. And we are going to copy this and then we're going to paste it in the chaos tool, which is going to come and um, overwrite or replace the old filter. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to fix the setup. In the setup, what we're going to do here is we're going to open this up. The account name for me is Path of Math. Uh, the league is going to be standard just because I'm in standard right now, uh, just because uh, I was doing some tests. Uh, PoE session ID you can get through PoE dot uh, PoE website under more tools developer tools and it is this line right here. Uh, I don't mind showing this because this is a temporary identifier, meaning as soon as this video is done and I log out of the website, this code here is completely irrelevant. Uh, next, I'm going to for me I like to change the highlight maximum sets to one, so I only see one chaos recipe at a time. And for the sake of this. Uh, example, I'm going to use threshold is three because it's very small. Once I've done all of this, uh, I've got my new threshold, my maximum sets, my league, my POA session ID in my account. Now the tool should work, but it actually will not. And this is something that is a little bit different uh, because we changed the base filter. So if I go to... Um, if I go to my documents here, my game's Path of Exile, you'll see that I don't have a filter called PoEQL underscore base. So I'm going to head over to my desktop under Chaos Tool. And what I'll do next is I'm going to jump over on my Discord. And on my Discord, you will see that there, under FAQ, there is a pinned thing called requiredcode.txt. I'm going to grab this, open it up. I know there's a lot of steps. I'm sorry. It is going to be more, you know, easier to use in the in the future. But it is a beta version, and the whole typo that GGG fixed pretty much screwed the whole thing up. But what I'll do is basically I'm going to copy this. Now, what that does is that this is essentially the bit of code that the tool looks for when it comes uh, to uh, updating the filter automatically. So it needs this bit of code. Now, the next thing I'll do once I have this bit of code is I'll go over to the chaos tool. I'm going to open it up and anywhere in the chaos tool, it doesn't matter where I am going to, um, to simply paste it. So this is what, this is the part that basically that to, the tool is going to edit, uh, to make it so it automatically updates. Now I'm going to save this. Now I have this new filter. Now what's going to be important here and a step that I uh, that is completely new, at least to me, is I'm going to go ahead and go to properties and you'll see that at the bottom it says this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. I need to unblock this file, otherwise the tool actually cannot edit the filter, which is why it's causing some issues 
with the automatic uh, automatic updating of the filter. It's not automatically updating because the tool can't edit it because it's locked. Now that the filter is unlocked, I'm going to run the tool. If uh, the first time I run it, it's going to say uh, Windows protected your PC. I'm going to run it anyway. Uh, and it's going to say run as admin. Now we should be good to go. We should be golden. We've got the bit of code required. We've got uh, the automatically updating filter. As you can see, if I go under now, if I go under my documents, my games, Path of Exile, you will see that the filter POEQL underscore base has been created uh, by the tool itself. So remember that I said that the overlay, uh, sorry, for the, the, the overlay for the maximum, I wanted to see three. So helmets, I have nine of them, and I have a helmet here, which is within Chaos Recipe range at level 72. So it says that I have nine on the tool, or sorry, on my filter. So if I go here and I grab POEQR underscore base and I reload it, it says filter updated successfully. So I'm not getting the Pernart error. And if I drop this on the ground, you will see that it is hidden. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my hideout. I'm going to go ahead and look at helmets. And I'm going to delete all of these different helmets. Uh, so this is also a helmet. This is a helmet. Th any other helmets in here? This is a helmet. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of those as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see how many we deleted. Because right now I'm only asking three maximum for the tool. So it's not very many. Refresh it. It says that's three. So it's still not going to show. So I'm actually missing one or two. Let's go ahead and find these helmets. Uh, I probably should have done that before, but whatever. So two more helmets have been deleted. Now if I go back in my map and I update the filter, it should say that my helmet count is one, which it does. Good thing. By the way, this overlay should be at the bottom of my screen. I just forgot to uh, edit it in the location, uh, basically on the on the screen resolution. My, my screen res resolution is wrong, so that's why it's showing at the bottom. Now, since I have one helmet in my stash and the, hel the filter wants to see three, if I drop the helmet, you will see that it is there. And it is also matching the overlay color um, of like some type of brownish or whatever, orange, whatever you want to call this color. The colors that you see on the overlay is the colors that you will see for each of these specific drops in the game. And this has been made for colorblind so that if you are colorblind, well, you'll be able to see it just fine. So that's about it. All I have for the video, how to fail, uh, how to fix both the fail to execute as well as the uh, Pernark error, as well as the auto auto updating failing. And of course, a little bit of, um, you know, talking about why the tool is actually safe. It's not a virus, why it says it's a Trojan, but it's really not. Again, though, if you don't trust it, don't trust it. It's, it's not up to me to decide. And uh, on that note, though, I want to say a huge thank you to my supporters, Amario, Luro, Gaikona, Kfish, Dr. Radu, Scott, Zarashi, Kevin, Cassicus, Matus, Diesel, Boy, and Dan S. Huge thank you to you guys. Uh, you guys basically made this possible, as well as, of course, anybody else who wishes to remain anonymous and anybody else who is supporting me in the past. Huge thank you to you guys. Hopefully this video fixes all your issues. And in the future... Next league, when next league comes, we'll have a much more refined uh, uh, tool that is probably not, not going to be a false positive as a Trojan because that's obviously not a good look. But hopefully that clears uh, all your issues and misunderstanding. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.